Hello, welcome to SS Unitech. So, we'll decide, and this is continuation of SQL Server Performance Training. So, today we want to discuss about how we can measurement of absolute resources. So, here we have set statistics I on and set statistics time on. So, these two can be used for the measurement of absolute resources. So, what is this and how we can use it? So, go to our next slide to understand about these two. So, first I would like to discuss about set statistics time on. So it is used to identify parse compilation and execution time of the query on the server side. So it doesn't include the time to transfer data into the client. It will include the time only for parsing of the query, compilation and execution. So if we want to use it simply we need to specify set statistics time on. After that we need to specify the query which we want to execute and capture the execution time then go to one messages tab in the output and here we can see we have two outputs first for the cpu time and second for the elapsed time so what is elapsed time so it shows the total time the query has taken in milliseconds to return the output and this also include the time of any wait type like blocking and locking Go to on SQL Server Management Studio. So go to on SQL Server Management Studio. As I am using SQL 217, you may have another versions of SQL Server, but this query will work for all the versions. So here, first we need to set statistics time on. So let me on this. Now I just want to execute the query. So here we have a simple query that is select stick from person dot address table. So let me execute this. So it would have around 19,006, 14 rows. Go to on messages tab, and here, as we can see, this is our SQL Server execution time, and here we can check CPU time and elapsed time. So that is CPU time would be 234 milliseconds, and elapsed time would be 996 milliseconds. So this can be used to check the execution time of the query. Now, second is statistics I own. So it includes the information like cost of the query, actual number of physical reads from the disk, actual number of logical reads, then scans and many more information. So as we can see here, simply we need to specify set statistics I on this time and it will reflect the information like scan count, logical reads, physical reads, read ahead read, then log logical read and log physical reads, log read ahead read. So these information it will return. So go to on SQL Server Management Studio to see in practical. Here simply I need to off this statistics time on. Then let me execute this query to on the IO. Next I just want to select all the data from the address table. So let me execute this query. So as we can see it has around 19,614 rows. So go to our messages tab and inside this message tab we can see we have a scan count then logical reads, physical reads, read ahead read, log logical read, log physical reads, log read ahead read. So these are the information we can get by using this set statistics I own. So these two are very important and used very often to check the performance of the query. So I hope you have understand how we can use the set statistics I on and set statistics time on. In our next video, we will discuss about the what is logical read, what is physical read, what is read ahead read, log logical read. So all these will be covered in next video. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel to get many more videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos. Thank you so much.